Welcome to Malcolm Noble Talks About Crime Fiction Classics. Hello there, Malcolm Noble with my weekly talk about a crime fiction classic. Today I've chosen my favourite uh, detective writer of the moment, Cyril Hare. It's very difficult to choose just one of his novels, but I've decided to go with a personal favourite, With a Bear Bodkin, and present it to you as a crime fiction classic. He published the novel in 1946, just after the Second World War. Francis Pettigrew, the unsuccessful barrister in most of uh, Cyril Hare's stories, is bombed out during the Blitz and has to take a civil service job in the north of England. Cyril Hare's picture of the English civil service is just right, with its hierarchies and bureaucracies and the little in-house conventions. That alone would make this a classic, but he also amuses us with a delightful picture of an English boarding house. That's where the investigators, and maybe the suspects, come together. Cyril Hare, who was a county court judge, is a wonderful observer of character. Cyril Hare has long been a favourite of the fans of the English detective story, but I would also recommend With a Bear Bodkin to anyone who wants a quiet, light read. So after your supper this evening, settle down in the armchair and enjoy a couple of hours with Cyril Hare's lovely writing. Don't forget to order the hot cocoa. I also need to mention his short stories because Cyril Hare has a tremendous reputation as one of the best uh, English detective short story writers. As I said, it's very difficult to choose just one Cyril Hare novel that's standing out from the others. Many people, most people in fact, might have gone for Tenant for Death. When the Wind Blows is another good one. And one of my other favourites, He Should Have Died Hereafter. Very good cluing in that one. But I chose With a Bear Bodkin as this week's crime fiction classic. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know your comments. And uh, I'll see you again for another crime fiction classic. Bye. About.me slash Malcolm.noble lists the other websites that I'm connected to.